The following video content analysis tools enable scene analysis in Axonext, motion start, loitering, object removal, abandoned object, line crossing, object appearance, motion stop, large number of objects. To activate a VCA tool, go to the Detection Tools tab. Create an object tracker and select a required scene analytics detection tool. After it's created, the object tracker is enabled by default. You can bulk configure all scene analytics detection tools in this object. The viewing tile displays tracked objects parameters, width and height relative to the frame size, and color. If you disable the object tracker, all scene analytics tools will be disabled as well as object tracking, auto zooming, tag and track pro, moment quest, and time compressor functions. Some parameters can be bulk configured for all scene analytics detection tools. To configure them, do as follows, create an object tracker. If your camera supports multi-streaming, select a stream for detection. By default, video streams metadata are recorded into the database. You can set the minimum and maximum object size for detection by specifying numerical values or reference areas on screen. Objects of all sizes beyond the set values will not trigger detection. To set reference areas in the camera window, click the Mint button and set the minimal dimension of the object of interest. Then click the Max button and set the maximum dimension. To use the numerical setting, you need to specify the percentage to frame dimensions in the following fields, maximum height and maximum width, and minimum height and minimum width. In the Tracker Timeout field, enter the time interval in seconds, during which the object's properties will be stored in the tracker's database. In the Motion Detection Tool Sensitivity field, enter the motion sensitivity value for scene analytics detection tools, on a scale of 1 to 80. By default, scene analytics is performed within the whole frame. If you need to prevent an area from the analysis and metadata generation, click the Mask button and specify the required area. To cancel a mask, click the X button. Let's adjust the object tracker to perspective distortion. In object tracker settings, you can use the simplified perspective calibration function to match the size of objects on the foreground and background. The perspective calibration is used to make the object tracker perform better. In the Object Tracker settings, specify the height of the reference object in decimeters. Select Yes for the Object Calibration option. Then, click the Perspective button and specify no less than four segments for calibration. The segments will be longer the closer they are to the foreground. Click the Apply button. The object tracker is now adjusted to perspective distortion. Let's try the Line Crossing Detection Tool, part of the Scene Analytics Toolkit. After you create a line crossing detection tool, you can see a virtual tripwire line in the FOV. Set the endpoints of the line. The endpoints are connected by a two colored dotted line. The direction of the object's motion across the line is indicated by dotted arrows. By default, the motion across the line is tracked in both directions. 
To suspend motion detection in one direction, click the plus button corresponding to that direction. An unmonitored direction of object motion is indicated by a dimmed arrow. Select the type of the target object that should trigger the detector. If necessary, select a color or a color range for the object. Click the Apply button. The line crossing detection tool is now configured. 